You don't believe in Batman? Batman is an urban legend. No, it is not. Dang, what are you doing here? I'm kicking your butt. Come on, make it up. I'm the Green Arrow. Yeah, I'll say. Morning. Pancakes are perfect this time. Okay? What's wrong? I love you, Barry Allen. What? I love you. You? You are as despicable as they come. You are dangerous, and you are clearly crazy. Alex, please. I know the world looks one way to you, that we're sisters. What's up, everyone? It's your man, Busy. Today, we're talking about the Elseworlds, um, you know, the whole Elseworld crossover. Uh, everyone's getting hyped. I know I'm especially hyped, because I've been waiting to see some member of the Bat family for a long, long time. And in this trailer, in the first trailer with Batwoman, we actually get to hear Batman's name for the first time in the Arrowverse, as I'm pretty sure it's the first time they've actually said Batman. And... Apparently, he's been missing for like three years. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. And so I guess he, she's taking up his mantle or doing something. I don't know. We we don't know too much yet. And yeah, so you hear Barry Allen or Oliver Queen, whatever you want to call him, say that that Batman was just a myth. And then when you see Batwoman jump on the car or whatever, wait, that's not Batman. <laughs> that's a lady. Well, he doesn't say that. Like, to the whole point. But anyways, you get what I mean. Yeah, you get what I mean. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. We Right here in the beginning, it is all the clips. If I don't get hit with copyright, then um, I'm going to keep this up. But I've been, you know my luck. I have been getting hit left and right. So, I'm, we'll just see. And, um, I don't know. I've been really excited for this. And I feel like we're going to get a lot of ju just different, like, Easter eggs or little hints to comic book stuff. Like, we got to see... Um, James Olsen, kind of Mr. Tough Guy over here, and, like, just more in kind of, like, a street urban outfit. We get to be see Cisco in one of the promotional pictures, and he actually looks like he's, like, the leader of all of it right now. And if you guys don't know, I know in one of his storylines, um, I think it's his main one, he's actually, like, a street kid. He was, like, raised in a bad neighborhood, like, from the hood, I'm pretty sure. And then I think he was, like, taken into Star Labs, and, like, that changed his life, I'm pretty sure. But... When I see this, it makes me think of comic book accurate Cisco Ramon, and his um his background in the Flash show is different. Not like hood life. It's him just living with his family, and the, the troubles he has is just that living under his brother's shadow. He felt like that was his his main struggle. But yeah, this um whole Elseworlds thing is giving me a kind of tone. It's making me feel that feel like it's stuff that we've already seen, like. Like in the Dom in the Dominators crossover where they end up in a place that they thought was their home, but it really wasn't. Like when um Dominators took the the arrow cast and some of the legends to or just Raymond and Sarah to that other lifetime and they were making them they were making them think that this is life, but yeah, it wasn't their life. Then we have an episode of Supergirl where uh, where Alex went to go save Kara. Because Kara was, I forget what it was called, that, that big star thing, or whatever you want to call it, alien thing, um, attacked her and made her think that she was at, in Krypton, and that Krypton never exploded. So Alex got to go inside her head, and she was trying to, kind of, trying to help her, and obviously she had to explain, I'm your sister, I'm your sister, oh, this doesn't feel right. And that's the whole entire vibe that I felt when we got to see Kara in the, the cell. So all of this is kind of... Kind of like a deja vu sequence, but it still doesn't mean I, I'm still very, very excited. Like, that's, like, not going to change. Um, I'm just very excited in general. Like, Batwoman, we got to see that. Um, one of the legends is cameoing. Um, I'm pretty sure Monitor has, um, I think he's been related to um, John Constantine at some points um, in, like, comic book universes. Not, like, related to, obviously, but, like, 
magic, magic, whatever you want to call. But I still don't think it, it's either going to be, I believe, John Constantine, which would be good because Oliver hasn't seen him for a while, or Sarah Lance because you know she's a leader. So I think those two are going to be the ones, or if anything, maybe Raymond, um, the Adam. But all I know is that those are the probably the only ones that we'll see, which is they are. It is half of the friggin' half of the legends, but still, <laughs> I don't believe anyone else is would cameo because obviously the legends aren't participating in this year's crossover. But that doesn't change the point. I'm very excited for this. We're getting this December 9th. And it's it's just amazing to see all this. Especially like I got so hyped when I got to see the whole Batman. Um oh like like oh who's Batman? Oh yeah, I thought that was just a myth. Then we get to see the Batman, um that big ass light that they have and um if if you see that light then you would think that you would probably know Batman was real. So I mean that's that's one thing that I was thinking about. I think it was just there for like Kind of so you get a good idea. And obviously the Flash will make that in Season 2, Episode 1. When you see that big strobe light or whatever it's called. And it had the Flash symbol. When they were trying to get Adam Smasher. And that was an exciting episode. But yeah, this is still very exciting. We get this. We're getting Clark. We're getting like, the whole nine yards. It, it, I wouldn't be surprised if they do like what Smallville did. And say, oh yeah, maybe in the future we should create like a league or something. And... That would honestly be hilarious because, yeah. <laughs> but I'm very excited to see what they do with this. Um, because as you guys know in the comic, I mean in the beginning, in season one of the Flash, at one point, Giddy when they first met Gideon, like yeah I know who you are. You're like I think they said the director CCPD, and um remember this is just going off the top of my head. And she said and the founder of the ju and then they cut her off. So um. Pretty sure she was gonna say the Justice League, so I'm pretty sure in this universe he is the founder, founding member, and I'm pretty sure I think in other universes or whatever I think he ha was the creator too. But I'm so used to Batman being the one that kind of put it all together. But if Flash is the one who did it, like like this would probably be like a start of it, which is honestly super cool. And um, I don't know, I don't know how they're gonna do all this. Obviously, we're gonna get Black Superman and um, some of the promotional pictures you see Bat Black Superman and the good Superman going off of, going off against each other, so it's not like um, Kara Superman ends up going bad or something. It's just another version of Superman. And remember, this is Elseworld, so we can expect a whole lot of different things. Um, I just don't know when we're gonna get the Flash be turning into the Flash again, or Arrow turning back into the Arrow. I hope it is soon. As much as I would love to see Oliver be like like a Flash, I want to see Barry Allen. Be next to John Wesley's ship, the Flash, like side by side, because I would love that. And I don't know what version of John Wesley's ship they're doing. I don't know if it's gonna be like the the TV show from the '90s version of him, which I'm not really familiar. I saw like two episodes, like the first two episodes, but I'd still be very, very excited to see what they're gonna do. Um, cause yeah, I I love Arrowverse. Um, like like the Arrowverse is that's what I live for. You know what I mean? Um, and this season Arrow has been my go-to. And the rest of the shows have had just this goofy kind of touch to it. Like, Brainiac 5 is kind of, I don't know, I look at him and I laugh. Um, st I love him, but I mean, it's just some things. I, I laugh as, like, just a friendly way. Because, I mean, I think of him as a goofy character. He's still trying to figure out the ropes with this time. And it's just funny to see him. So I want to see how he compares to everyone else. I wouldn't be surprised if they introduce when we see Superman. Superman's already familiar with him. I wouldn't be surprised if any of that because Superman has been what Superman for like ten years. I don't even know what's going on, but I, I like I said, I am just very excited to see what will happen. What we're gonna what we're gonna do just everything. Like, I hope hope you guys enjoy this everything that's going on. But I really hope they end up turning this Batwoman like into a TV sh show because. They had plans for that, and I'm pretty sure it's, it depends on how well this goes. Because I know for sure if this is a disaster, which it won't be, but if it's a disaster, no one will come. No one will probably want that to come back. And but I just hope they don't cancel Arrow to make this show because honestly, I'd rather get rid of Legends. And yeah, like I I know it sucks. I love Legends. I'm not gonna flex. Um, Supergirl's all right, but I mean like. I want that to stay because that opens up the whole idea of more characters coming and coming and coming. And yeah, so 
we got to see a whole lot of different things. So if we do get a Batwoman show, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some of Mr. Freeze. Because as you guys know, Mr. Freeze was referenced in the latest um, Flash episode when Caitlin's dad, I the Icicle, said that he's worked with different people. I know at one point he said the original Killer Frost. Then he said, Miss, he said Victor Freeze, which I recognize that name right away. And that's Mr. Freeze. So, I mean, that confirms that Mr. Freeze, who is a big, big, big bad in the Batman universe, may be here. Um, we've had different rumors that Batman or the Joker will be in this, which I doubt. Come on, I doubt. I think that laugh that was in the promo was just kind of for, um, just for the feelings. Like, you know, when we think of Gotham, like, we think, we think of the Clown Prince. I mean, we think of different things. Batman, the Clown Prince, and it's just... I don't know, I'm just battling about, I, I am very excited for this, I really hope you guys are too, um, yeah, we're not getting Black Lightning in this crossover, we're not getting DC Legends, but honestly, I didn't even think of those shows until right now, cause I'm just, like, right now, like, I'm just so excited, cause, I mean, we're getting, we're getting Superman, and he's only been in, what, three episodes, three, four episodes so far, and we haven't seen him since season two of Supergirl, and now it's season four. So this is just very, very, very exciting for me. And I hope you guys are very exciting too. Because, I mean, we're going to be getting a lot. I mean, we're going to be getting, like, ha like a lot of the Justice League members. I know Kendra Saunders is going to become... She came back for, like, an episode or whatever. But I don't think that's... Um, that's not for the crossover. That was a while ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it's... We'll see it before the crossover happens. But um, I know she's a member of the, JSA, the Justice League. She's, like, I don't know, I'm just super excited. Because, yeah, we the only main Justice League member, the two main Justice League members that I'm thinking of that we're missing is Wonder Woman and Batman. And, yeah, I can live without Cyborg, because, I mean, yeah, we've seen enough of him. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but I'm, I'm just very excited about this. I hope you guys are, too. I'm, like, not even able to talk normally, but when am I ever able to talk normally? I'm just so excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Please like, comment, subscribe, do what you can to help me out. My videos, sometimes they're better than this. Sometimes they're worse. But, you know, they'll get better the more subscribers, more likes, more comments, the more times you guys want to help me out. But until next time, see you, man. Busy. I'm sorry if my clips aren't there, but, you know, if they're not there, it's because I had to put the video back up, but without the, the clips. But, yeah, just see you, man. Busy. Make sure you leave like, comment, subscribe. Peace.